Welcome to Love Grove Wellness. Before you begin, please ensure that you are in good physical condition and ready to exercise. If you have any questions in regards to this, please consult with your doctor. Hips. Starting on your knees in child's pose with the knees slightly wider than the hips, feet together and resting the forehead down to the mat. Moving into some side stretches, inhale to walk the hands over to your right corner and exhale to hold here, keeping the hips square. Reach that left arm slightly longer to feel that stretch down the side of the body. Inhale to move back through centre and exhale over to your left side. Inhale, walk the hands back to centre and exhale to hold here in your child's pose. We're going to move up onto our hands and knees now for tabletop. So wrists in line with shoulders, knees in line with hips for cat and cow. Inhale, lift the chest and tailbone for cow. Exhale, scooping the belly up, drop the head and tailbone for cat. Moving through this sequence at your own pace with your breath ensuring that the arms stay straight and you're working through the spine. Making this your last round now, and then when you're ready, pushing your hips back to child's pose. We've got our cobra flow, so striking the floor with the chest, striking cobra. Inhale, lifting the chest, and then exhale to push back to child's pose. And again, inhale to strike with the chest, and exhale to push back to child's pose. As you start to get slightly warmer, you may want to bring this into your upward facing dog. Making this your last round now, coming back to child's pose when you're ready, we're going to come into downward facing dog, feet hip width apart, tuck the toes, inhale, exhale, push back to downward facing dog, hips high, walking the dog out here by pedalling the heels down towards the floor, remembering to spread the fingers wide, palms flat, roll the armpits in to open the shoulders. From here walking the feet towards the hands to so the top of the mat, we're going to come into our mountain pose now, so feet either hip width apart or big toes together, rolling up through the spine for Tadasana. Coming into some sun salutations, inhale lift the arms up, extended mountain pose, exhale tilting forward, forward fold, relax the knees, tailbone high. Inhale step your right foot back long, lunge, back knee down, lift the chest, Exhale, step your left foot back, downward facing dog, hips high. Inhale, roll to plank. Exhale, lower halfway chaturanga. Inhale, cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale, push back, downward facing dog, hips high. Looking to the hands, inhale, step your right foot through between your hands to lunge. 
exhale back knee down crescent lunge on top of the back toes if you want inhale arms rise above the head exhale sink the hips lower towards the floor for your hip flexor stretch Bring the right hand to the left forearm for sundial arms, inhale lifting up, exhale to reach over to your right side, feeling that stretch down the left side of the body into the left hip flexor, but keeping the chest square to the front of the room. Returning the hands to the floor now, inhale to tuck your back toes, lift the chest, exhale step in forward fold, inhale arms rise extended mountain pose, exhale arms down to dasana, second side, inhale arms reach, exhale forward fold, relax the crown of the head, tailbone high, inhale left foot back to lunge, knee down, lift the chest, exhale right foot back, Downward facing dog, hips high. Inhale, rolling forwards into plank. Exhale, lower halfway, chaturanga. Inhale, lifting cobra or up dog. Thighs and knees off the floor. Exhale, push back, down dog. Heels pushing towards the floor. Inhale, looking towards the hand, step the left foot through to lunge. Exhale, back knee down, untuck the back toes if you want. Inhale, arms rise above the head exhale push the hips towards the floor coming into your sundial arms left hand to right arm inhale lifting up exhale reaching over to your left side feeling that stretch down the right side of the body now into the right hip flexor Releasing the hands to the floor, inhale tuck your back toes, push the knee off lunge, exhale step in forward fold, relax the head down, inhale arms rise extended mountain pose, exhale arms return to the sides, Tadasana. Chair pose, bring the feet hip width apart, inhale arms rise, exhale sink the hips back to bend the knees, checking you can see the toes in front of the knees and then taking the eye line either in front of you or up towards the hands. Shoulders away from ears and check that you're keeping the ribs tucked in. Moving from chair pose into bear pose, we're going to keep the hips back and aim the body for a flat back position. Arms reaching long in front of you, increasing the bend in the hips if possible. Keeping the ribs tucked in and bracing through the core. Try to keep the knees behind the toes in this pose also. Inhale, arms rise. Exhale, bring the hands back down to the sides, Tadasana. Feet hip width apart or big toes together. Inhale, arms rise, extended mountain pose. Exhale, forward fold, relax the crown of the head. Inhale, right foot back, knee down to lunge, lift the chest. Exhale, left foot back, downward facing dog, hips high. Inhale, rolling into plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, cobra or up dog, open the chest. Exhale, push back to downward facing dog, hips high. Pigeon pose, inhale the right leg to the ceiling, three legged dog. Exhale, swinging across the body, bringing that knee towards a right angle. Knee to wrist, ankle to wrist if possible, flexing that front foot to protect the knee. Back leg can be straight or bent. Fingertips in front of you, inhale lifting up out of the chest. Exhale, sink into the hips, try and keep the hips square. Staying here in pigeon pose for a few breaths. Mm -hmm. 
Inhaling now, lift the chest. Exhale, walking the hands forwards over to the forearms or reaching the arms out long in front. option for a progression here so either staying where you are or walking your hands back towards the body to bring the chest up looking towards the back foot take your left hand to the inside of the foot to grab the foot if possible if you have hold of the foot square the hips and shoulders round to the front and you may want to lift the right hand off the floor to test the balance to progress further we're aiming to bring the foot into the crux of the left elbow right hand reaches over the top for mermaid pose to connect the hands, aiming in this pose to keep the chest and hips square round to the front of the room. Either coming out of mermaid or pigeon pose, bring the hands to the floor, inhale, Exhale, push the right foot to the ceiling, three-legged dog. Keeping the leg lifted, inhale to roll forward to plank. Exhale, lower halfway, chaturanga. Inhale, foot comes to the floor, lifting cobra or up dog. And exhale, push back to downward facing dog. We're going to repeat our pigeon sequence on the second side. Inhale, left leg up, three-legged dog. Exhale, bring the foot across the body for pigeon pose. Knee faces the side of the room, flexing the foot to protect the knee. Back leg can be straight or bent. Inhale, lifting up through the chest. Exhale, keeping the hips square and sinking the hips towards the floor. Inhale, lift the chest, exhale, walking the hands forwards either to the forearms or relaxing all the way down towards the floor. Option to stay where you are or progress now by walking the hands back towards the body and lifting the chest back up. Looking towards your back right foot, taking hold of the foot to the inside of the foot with the right hand, palm out, either testing the balance by lifting the left arm off or coming into full mermaid by bringing the foot into the crux of the elbow, reaching the fingertips up, left arm reaches over to connect the hands and squaring the chest round to the front of the room for mermaid pose. Coming out of mermaid or pigeon, hands to floor, tucking the right toes, inhale, exhale, lift the left foot to the ceiling, three-legged dog. Inhale, coming forward to plank, keep the leg lifted, exhale, lower halfway, chaturanga. Inhale, lift cobra or up dog, foot comes down, exhale, push back to downward facing dog, hips high, and we'll walk the dog out here by pedaling the heels down towards the floor. Remembering to open the shoulders by rolling the armpits in towards each other. Settling the feet now, we're coming into a seated position, looking to the hands, inhale and exhale, step or jump to a seated position. Wide legged position now, take the legs wide, legs can be straight or bent if it's too much pressure on the backs of the legs, pulling the fleshy parts of the bottom out of the way and sitting on the bony parts of the bottom. Tilting the tailbone behind you and the pelvis towards the floor. We'll take a wide forward fold. So inhale, lift the arms up towards the ceiling, 
and exhale reaching the arms towards the floor in front of you relaxing the head down towards the floor as you exhale in this position see if you can walk the hands slightly further forwards Inhale, lift the eyes and exhale, walking yourselves back up to a seated position. Keeping the right leg straight, bring the left foot into the inside of the thigh. Right arm crosses the body to the left knee and the left arm is going to reach over. So inhale, lift the left arm up and exhale, reaching the left arm towards the right leg for our revolved knee to head pose. Chest is open and eyes up towards the ceiling. Revolved kneeling twist now, take the left hand behind the body, inhale and exhale to push up towards the ceiling with the hips, pushing onto the knee, right arm reaches over the head and the eyes are either down towards the floor or up towards the ceiling. Try to push the hips forwards to open up through the hips. Lowering back to the mat now, switching legs, left leg out, right foot in to the inside of the thigh, left hand crosses the body to the right knee, inhale the right arm up and exhale to reach over towards the left leg for revolved head to knee pose, revolving the chest and the eyes round towards the ceiling. Any ideas? Releasing the hand now, bringing it behind the body. Inhale and exhale, pushing up through the knee, pushing the hips forwards for our revolved kneeling twist. Eyes to the ceiling or down towards the floor. Left arm reaches overhead. Releasing back down to the mat now, we're coming down into a lying supine position, so take hold behind the hamstrings and slowly rolling down onto your back. Moving into bridge pose, feet hip width apart, lengthen the arms down the side of the body and see if you can connect the fingertips to the heels. Keeping the tension between the knees, inhale, exhale, push the hips up towards the ceiling for bridge pose either keeping the fingers towards the ankles, grabbing around the ankles with the hands, or interlacing the fingers, drawing the knuckles away from the body, keeping the arms on the floor. Ensuring that we're keeping the ribs tucked in here and pushing high up onto the shoulders. When you're ready, lowering down and bring your knees in towards the chest, give them a hug and rock side to side to massage through the spine. We're going to move into our second round of bridge pose. So either setting up again for bridge pose or option to progress into wheel pose by reaching the arms above the head and tucking the fingertips towards the feet, elbows to the ceiling, Inhale, exhale, pushing up through the hands. We're aiming to straighten the arms here and push the chest forwards. So we're opening up through the chest and shoulders. Progressing in this pose if you want to by bringing the feet and the hands closer towards each other. Whenever you're ready, you can lower down from this pose, bring the knees to the chest and give them another rock side to side. Alternatively, if you're in bridge pose, you can take some progressions by lifting alternate legs to test your balance.
Coming back down to the mat when you're ready, we're going to finish with a one-legged happy baby pose. So take both feet to the ceiling and then grabbing the outside or the inside of your right foot, hug the knee towards the armpit. Keep the left sole of the foot facing the ceiling and we're going to take slow counts to lower the left leg towards the floor. Lowering one, two, three, four and five keeping the left leg straight keeping the right knee in towards the armpit bring the left leg up towards the ceiling again now lifting up for one two three four and five we're going to switch legs now so bring the left foot to the hand hugging the knee towards the armpit, either holding the outside or the inside of the foot, and keeping the right leg straight, sole of the foot towards the ceiling, lowering that right leg to the floor for one, two, three, four, and five. Keeping the left leg hugging in towards the armpit, keep the right leg straight, we're going to bring that right leg up towards the ceiling again now. For one, two, three, four, and five. Taking both legs up towards the ceiling now, releasing that left foot from your half happy baby pose. We're going to take both legs out wide for our wide-legged supine pose. So either holding the feet, or if you need to and you have a strap, you can use that here. Try and keep the head down on the floor and the tailbone down towards the floor as well. Bring the legs together now slowly, bend the knees, hug them in towards the chest and rock side to side. Releasing the legs out long, we're going to move into our Shavasana, so letting those feet drop out to the side, arms either side of the body, palms facing up or in towards the body for your Shavasana. Just softening your eye gaze or slowly closing your eyes. Bring some awareness back to your breath. Feeling the hips open, allowing them to relax. And just scanning the body for any tension and with your next exhale, just releasing that tension. And we'll take a few moments here in your Shavasana to reflect on your practice today.
When you're ready, start to make small movements with fingers and toes. Bring some energy back into your body, keeping your eyes closed. You might want to move your head from side to side and maybe stretching your arms and legs long or bringing your knees in towards your chest and giving them a hug. In your own time, rolling onto your right side away from your heart, take a few moments here before returning to a seated position, keeping the eyes closed if you wish. And when you're ready, slowly opening your eyes, allowing the light back in. And thank you for joining me for today's practice. And the focus today was hips.